Welcome back to another video from the Block IoT. In our most recent video, we unboxed a brand new Siemens logo version 8.4 and we showed you how you can create a bi-directional communication between a Siemens logo version 8.4 and any MQTT broker in just a few simple steps. In today's video, we are going to talk about another new feature in Siemens logo version 8.4 which is very cool and interesting and it can significantly elevate the performance of your automation system. And just a reminder, we have a dedicated playlist on our YouTube channel for Siemens logo, just to keep everything organized. Okay, so here we have the Logos of Comfort version 8.4 open and we are just going to use the same project from the previous video which we used it for communicating between our logo and Mosquito MQTT broker running on our Raspberry Pi 5. So if you watched the previous video, these sections of the program should look familiar to you. In this project, we are going to use these digital inputs on the demo unit to toggle the values of some flags which are named as M memories in logo and then we are going to send email notifications based on different values in the memory areas. That's why I have added these sections on both sides. The process of adding different instructions in the diagram editor is very straightforward and easy as I showed you before. So just as a practice, let's just add another input. I just select the input and automatically selects the next available address, which in my case is i7 because I've already used i1 to i6. And then because this input is is on my demo units and I want to transfer it over the TCP network to my new logo which is version 8.4 I just add a flag memory in the diagram editor of my new logo and you don't need to do any programming it's just drag and drop so just simply drag and drop this input to the flag memory on the new logo and as you can see these labels will be automatically generated so in other words my inputs number one to six on the demo units are connected to memory area or flag number one to six on my new logo. So at this point, we can start configuring the event-based email notifications in the Logos of Comfort software. The process of configuration is twofold. First, just right click on your logo and go to the properties. And then in the new logo, you have this new option, which is email event setting. As you can see here, I have already configured nine different events. So let's just check a few of them. For example, in the first event, I have defined that whenever my logo is powered on or the power is applied to my logo, send me this email. That's my email subject and my email content. So once you define your event trigger and email subject and content, you need to define the receiver groups. You can define up to eight different receiver groups. And as you may guess, each trigger can be sent only to those groups that they need to receive those notifications. For example, you want to add your maintenance team to all notifications because they are the first responders and need to know about any problem in your system. Or perhaps you want to add your management team to one of other user groups so they will not be flooded with different email notifications which are not really related to their job. So as you can see here, I have nine different events. One of them is powered on. The second trigger executes whenever my logo status changed from run to a stop. And of course, we have added another event when the logo has changed the status from a stop to run. And again, each event, as you can see, can have different subject and content and you can assign them to different users groups and as I mentioned we have connected the i1 to i6 to m1 to m6 for sure you can add your customized messages and email subject but for now just for testing purposes I just added simple messages for example m1 on m2 on and so on please note you can configure up to 16 m flag events at most okay that's it for the first step and we are done with the email event settings and we can proceed to the next step which is defining different receiver groups and overall the email settings. So we just click OK. For the next step, you just need to open the tools menu, transfer and email setting. Because this is an online setting, you need to go online with your logo first. Okay, as you can see, the user interface for this setting is very easy and understandable to anyone. 
So in the first section, you need to provide an email address and of course with the login credential so the logo can use that email address to send the email notifications out. After entering your email settings, you can verify your settings by clicking on verify SMTP settings. And then on the bottom, as I mentioned, you can define eight different receiver groups and in each group, you can add many more email addresses. So that's it for the configuration for the next step as well. As you can see, the process is fairly easy and that's why I really like Logo. So if you're a product manager or maybe a product developer that is developing a software or hardware solution for IIoT, please remember automation engineers are not software developers and OT is absolutely different from the IT world. If you want to have a successful product, you need to make the user interface as simple as possible. So to summarize, keep the settings as simple as possible for the users. So we can just click on next. And after the settings are done, you can proceed to download your logos and start the testing. Okay, just to make sure everything is working, we just go online with our logo. And just to test, I changed the analog values to make sure I see the changes on the lower left side. Okay, we are ready. And if everything has configured properly, we should receive the email notifications once different events are triggered. So first, let's start with the digital inputs because they are fairly easy to test. So I'm just going to proceed and trigger the input one. As you can see on the online monitor, the value of M1 or flag one is changed to one. So I'm just waiting for the email notifications and then I'll show you the email content. Okay, after just a couple seconds, I have received the email notification. I'm just going to drag and drop it to here. So as you can see, I've received an email from the email that I've configured in my Logos of Comfort and with the customized subjects, customized content, and also the notification automatically includes the logo IP address and the device name as well. So let's just trigger another memory, maybe i5. And again, in the online monitoring, you can see the status of N5. So for sure, based on your internet speed and the quality of the service that you receive from your ISP, it might take different times after you trigger an event and when you receive the email. In my case, in all of my tests, I have received the emails in less than three seconds. Okay, after triggering the M5, I've received the second notification. As you can see, M5 on, exactly the same email subject and content that I configured. So now let's go ahead and trigger other events such as changing the programming mode from run to stop and also powering down the logo and power it up again. So I'm just going to my logo and from the menu, I just select my program to be stopped. So as you can see, my logo is a stop now. So after a few seconds, I will receive an email notification and it will tell me that my logo is in a stop mode and my program will not run. Okay, it's been a few seconds and I've received the email notification and the notification tells me that my logo is in a stop mode. So now let's just switch from a stop to run again and we will receive another email notification. Okay, it's been a few seconds and I received my email notification and it tells me that my logo is back in run mode. So as the last test, let's just power down the logo and we'll power it up again. And we expect to get another email notification for that. Okay, as you can see, my logos are powered off and now I'm just turning them on again. Okay, now my logos are powered back on and I can go online with them again. So this event will take more time because it takes some time for the logo to establish the connection to the internet as well. After power on, I received two email notifications. The first one is regarding the power on. And as you can see, just letting you know that your logo just powered on. And my second email notification is logo is back to run mode because after you power on your logo, it automatically goes to the run mode as well. So here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn how to use the email notifications in the new logos. And again, as we saw, the process of configuration is very, very easy and anyone can use that. This will open a lot of new doors to your project, especially for a small scale machine builders who are looking for different ways to improve the performance of their machine 
with as little cost as possible. You don't need to connect to an IoT on the cloud solution to send email notification. You can just get one of these logos and if you don't have internet connection around, you can just get a gateway with a cellular communication or SIM card and you can build a lot of system based on this configuration. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to Block IoT YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. This will help us to keep going and create more videos for you in the future. And your feedback is always appreciated and that's the only way that we can improve our work. So let us know what you think about this video and what other topics you are interested to see more. Until the next time, have a great day or night.